Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, we've got the guaranteed champion event. I spoke about this yesterday. I'm going to get myself Geomancer right now. Geomancer is a powerful epic force champion. They're not wrong. I really love this epic. It's a maximum of 40 ancients. You could get in before that, but basically we've got to pull 40. Uh, yes, Clan v Clan is, is open. Let's have all the packs come up. Let's go, let's go. How much can you try and sell me? One pack. Two packs. Three is a freebie. We'll take it. Okay. Two packs. Not too bad. I've got 40. I'm going to make some room and then we're going to get him. Right. We're doing it. 40 shards. You know what would be great for me? If I got Taragi the frog at the same time, I would be absolutely made up. That's what we're looking for. Or Mountain King, to be fair. But I don't expect legendaries when I'm doing this. Not when it's a, a one times event. A bunch of rares. Some good ones, I guess. But it's not what we're after. Come on. Spill a gold in there. Go on. Do it. Do it. Got an epic. Karam. Kind of okay. Come on. So something silly. Do something silly for this video, would you? Apothecary. I feel like I'm getting tons on my free to play, by the way. One more set then. So we know we're guaranteed a Geomancer, the last one. You can get Geomancer before if you're lucky, but otherwise you will get him on this last one. Sanguina, Mast, and oh, Geomancer! There he is. There he is. He actually comes at a good time because leveling up champions, booking champions is nice through clan v clan. I have been told the rewards for clan versus clan have got worse. What's going on? I think there's less shards. We've got speed gear instead of savage and we've got immunity gear instead of savage. Honestly, both sets, or all of these sets are proper endgame sets. So... I get that some people are a bit upset. I don't really mind that they mix it up as long as Savage comes back in the mix. Um, so I don't know if they're worse. I think they're just different, but some people probably disagree with me there. Anyway, let's get him leveled. Let's get him booked, and then we're going to take him out for a spin. Okay, here we go then. So let's do a, a spotlight on Geomancer. What's going on? A1, AoE decrease accuracy, um, which is a great A1 to be fair. So, you know, it's an AoE ability which hits pretty hard, and it's also going to drop decrease accuracy on your enemy. A2 uh, removes all buffs from a target, then attacks. That's a really important order. Um, steals the buffs if they're under HP burn. And reduces quick sand grasp, which is his A3, by two turns if the target is killed by the skill whilst they're under the burn. This is all nice. Uh, the main thing here really for me is to remove the buffs and smack. So you can kill people quite quickly with this in like Faction Wars or Doom Tower. Um, and then the A3, this is kind of like his bread and butter. Fully depletes, there's so much going on in this skill. Fully depletes target's turn meter. Great for a lot of bosses like Spider, like uh, Ice Golem, like Fire Knight, like a bunch of the Doom Tower bosses as well. Yeah, wherever you can deplete turn meter, this is awesome. Like Faction War bosses as well. Doesn't work obviously on Clan Boss or Dragons. Fills this champion's turn meter by the amount the target loses. So it's almost like I'm doing it. And then if you're taking on someone who's got a high turn meter, you're basically getting a second turn. It's a crazy skill. Really good. Uh, you've then, if you book him out, 100% chance of placing HP burn and weaken for three turns. And you book it to a three turn cooldown. 100% uptime on burn and weaken. So good. And if you're like, yeah, okay, it sounds pretty cool. This is where he gets silly. This is where he gets a little bit silly. Decreases the damage all allies receive by 15%. And deflects that damage onto each enemy under HP burn placed by himself. It has to be placed by him. Whenever this champion is attacked, deflects 30% of the damage instead. So what happens here is, if you've got an HP burn out on clan boss or any of the big bosses um, placed by Geomancer, he reduces the damage your team is going to take. It's a straight up damage reduction. And instead that damage gets pushed back onto the enemy. If you've got Giant Slayer as your mastery, he has a chance of getting Giant Slayer procs every time he reflects that damage. So good. So good. I love this passive. Now, obviously, you can do masteries in a number of ways. Depends on where you're going to use him. But for me, this is a, a pretty decent setup. So crit into crit damage. More uh, damage when you're full health. Bit of a uh, regen of health if you're using for clan boss and boss fights. And you kind of come down this left-hand side and you end up going diagonal down into Giant Slayer. This is the big ticket item you need this on him if you want that passive to be doing silly things i've then just gone accuracy 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 bit more stats from laura steel 
This is a really good um, ability for him if you're using him outside of clan boss, Evil Eye. Honestly, if you were not using him for anything outside of clan boss, I probably would have gone defense tree, kind of coming down into retribution and, and tried to get a bit more damage that way. But this for me gives me my best kind of flex build to use him in a number of different areas. If you guys are wondering, like any of the pools you just got trying to get Geomancer uh, or pools generally, you can go on to hellhades.com. Um, this is the page I've got on here for Geomancer, but there's a page for every single champion on hellhades.com, as well as a ton of other stuff around raid, tier lists, uh, faction war tier list down here, um, a whole bunch of tools as well. So there's a whole ton of stuff, but for each champion, I give them a rating. I tell you if there's an area where they're a god, I rate them all like out of five stars. And then I, I say, would they value from getting books? Yes or no? And this one's like a nine out of 10, yes. Um, and then I say, where would I like the books to land? So if I just landed books in A2 and A3, I wouldn't try and outbook his A1. I'd save my books for somebody else. And then I do a little bit of a blurb. And then we go on to like a, a kind of stock mastery selection. There is going to be multiple masteries in these builds before long. We're working on a, a tool that gives us an option of three. So I can say, actually, this is a clan boss set of masteries. This is a PvP. This is against Finite, etc. So that's going to change up. But... Yeah, any champion, you can literally just go into the search bar, type who you want, hit the search, and then find the champion that you need. So let's get into seeing him in action. I've got mine fully booked. I'm going to build him out now, and then we're going to do it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is something pretty special. Okay, I'm going to show you Geomancer in one of the slowest, easiest, most free-to-play teams you could build for Clan Boss Nightmare uh, level. So this is it right here. Uh, I built something similar to this a long time ago, but Geomancer fits it perfectly. So what have we got? We've got ourselves a speed booster, Apothecary, High Cartoon, any of the, the kind of boosters can do this job running at 205 speed. I've then got the rest of the crew running at less than 130 speed. For all those people that don't seem to be able to find speed boots, this is for you. 122 speed Geomancer, 124 Frozen Banshee, 129 Coffin Smasher, 128 Grave Chill. And just so you know, for all those people that are like, I don't have those guys. Frozen Banshee is any Poisoner. Coffin Smasher is any Decrease Attack Champion. Grave Chill is any Decrease Defense, plus kind of like additional utility that you can bring in. They don't have to be these champions. They can literally be anyone, but you do need a Decrease Attack Champion. And you do need to be um, just checking your speeds versus these. There is flex in the speed. I could go up a bit. I could come down a bit. There is flex. But this is a kind of good feel for what the speeds need to be. All of their builds are kind of the same. Um, you know, you've got a need for that right level of speed that I just to I told you. Get yourself above 170 accuracy if you're a Nightmare Clan boss. I've gone 180-ish for most of my champs here. Pump your defense up. Try and get your defense as close to 4k as you can. That's your, that's your aim. I don't have any um, amulets or any um, banners on because my great hall is so good and I'm trying to cater to lower level players. I'm just going to roll this last piece and then uh, I'll show you the rest of the builds. Okay, so we've got a coffin smasher in defense percent gloves, defense percent jest, defense percent boots. Because we don't need much speed, we can get defense percent all over the place. We've got a defense ring. Um, I've punched 3.9k defense, 38k HP. I'd like a bit more HP if I'm honest. 129 speed, 183 accuracy in lifesteal gear. With this kind of mastery setup, I've gone for this because I really want the decrease attack to be on all the time. Uh, we've got our Geomancer in same sort of mastery. Giant Slayer is the main one. We've got lifesteal again. 208 accuracy, again, above that 170, 180 mark. 122 speed, 3.5k defense, nearly 40k HP. All achievable, same sort of thing. I'm looking for defense, defense, defense on these pieces. Um, we've got an apothecary running at the 205 speed, 3.6k defense. A bit more health on this one. This is a better overall build probably, so I don't need any accuracy here. Um, life still again. We're reliant on them healing through... Their Warmaster or Giant Slayer procs, pretty much. We've got Frozen Banshee, Life Still, and Accuracy sets. 124, 3.6, 39k, similar build. And Grave Chill, uh, she's gone Perception and Life Still, 3.5k, 37k. 
all very similar builds. If I was throwing the rest of the gear on here, then I would just be punching up more health and more defense, basically. Okay, so let's work out how we're going to set this up. What I would tell you is, Geomancer could be your leader. If you're against an affinity clan boss, that might be better. But I don't have a way to stop the stun right now in this setup. So if you've got someone who's cleansing a stun or something like that, or blocking debuff, someone like Marked could come in to do that. Then you'd put Geomancer in as your lead, because any additional damage that he takes, he throws it back at the clan boss. But in this setup, I'm going to put my most irrelevant person as my leader. The person I care the least about getting stunned. I'm also doing a couple of things here in setup. So not that she will do it, but I'm just going to make sure she doesn't A2, Frozen Banshee. I'm going to turn off Apothecary's A2 so that he doesn't heal. He just A1s when he's got it available, which gives us more damage. I'm turning off the HP burn from Coffin Smasher because I don't want him to, him to override Geomancer's burn. And on Geomancer, I'm just going to make sure he always does his A3 uh, as his priority ability. Use that. Turn it on. Here we go. We're on Void Affinity. It's actually probably worse than any of the Affinity clan bosses here because Geomancer will do more damage the more hits we take. And against Affinity clan bosses, the clan boss hits more than one time. So we'd get more damage out from Affinity. But there it is. The burn's on. We're running. Don't forget, everyone apart from Apothe Apothecary, if I could say it, everyone's running less than 130 speed. It's insanely easy to build. Um, and we will just see damage proc in. There it is. 77k damage from his giant slayer proc. Need the burn back up to get the damage going again. Get your burn on, Geo Geomancer. Let's go. There it is. Next AoE. Here comes the Giant Slayers. One. Only got one that time. Sometimes we get multiple, like three, four. So it's, it's all down to a bit of RNG luck, but damn, it's good. Even when your allies are taking the hits, he's got a chance to get that Giant Slayer proc. I'm just thinking, actually, the burn is running out at the wrong time. A couple of giant side procs there, though. I mean, if I can get close to half a million damage per turn, it's better. I'm just thinking in my head, maybe I should have delayed Geomancer's burn to go on um, slightly different timing so that I actually got all of the AoEs covered. Because what happens is that the clan boss has his turn. He takes the HP burn off. He takes the damage and then he hits, uh, which is a little bit annoying. So, yeah, not having the HP burn on for both AoEs is not great. We do get it on a four-turn ticker here, though, because of the mastery I took, which has got the chance to extend it. So we should get it all the way through this time on, on every round. But honestly, is there an easier team in the world to build for Nightmare Clan Boss than what you're seeing here? Is there an easier one? I can't think of an easier one than this. Once you've got Geomancer in your squad, I mean, it just doesn't get easier. And as I said earlier, you can replace any of these champions. Like, you could even replace Geomancer with someone else, but honestly, he's going to end up doing the work. He's going to end up doing a ton of the work in this comp. But yeah, you can get any decreased attack champion here. If you had someone who's got more kits, like a Jared, then even better. Jared will give you an ally protect. Um, you know, you can replace any of these two poisoners, no problem at all. But the sisters do pair well together. And Apothecary could be any speed lead, to be honest. It could or any speed booster. Um, there's plenty of options. But we're already up close to 9 million. We're taking a lot of damage now. We're taking a good sort of half our health damage. We're coming up to turn 17. We know from turn 20 the clan boss really does smack. But all we've got to do, we've got to just crack. Actually, we're probably going to lose her here. This is where turning off Apothecary's heal is probably going to lose us a champ. Or oh, not quite. Should have done. Um, as long as we crack 13 million, then we're good. Yeah, 13 million is the magic number to get your three key on Clan Boss. On Nightmare Clan Boss. So everyone's still alive. Come on, Geomancer. Get some damage in. Nice quick Clan Boss run as well. None of this silliness with unkillables. 45 minutes later. She has gone. That's my own bad. If I didn't have um, Apothecary's heal away, then she would still be alive, to be fair. 
But I want to show you it as a full run, otherwise it's, it's a bit cheaty. Come on, get your burnout. Get your burnout. Get the work done. Get the work done. 12.2. Got a decreased attack on the whole time. It's awesome. It goes another Giant Slayer proc. 13 million. We've just landed a three key Nightmare Clan boss with ridiculously low speeds. Like insanely low and I'm not even basically wearing jewellery. We don't even stop there. The better you build this team, the more damage you do. It's such a simple one to get up to a two key in fact. But there you go guys. Like how good is Geomancer in this role? Who's telling me they can't build this one? Please, if you, if you played the game for more than two months, you can build this team. That's where we're at. That is where we're at. Even the dogs agree. 14.4 million. It's, it's absolutely safe and it will work on affinities. So, who's done the damage? Geomance has done 5 million, a third of all of the damage. And everyone else has got a nice little spread. And that is Geomancer at his best. That's why I love him so much. Obviously, you can throw him into the biggest teams, the best teams, and do crazy damage with him. I think tomorrow I'm going to do a video where I showcase him in a ton of other content. But for, for today, it is Mr. Easy to Build, Clan Boss. That's why I think he's one of the best champions that Valerian Raid could have ever put in this definite pool. Definite pool champion. I mean, who can't build that? If you can't build that... Look yourself in the mirror and, uh, and try again. Try again. There we go, guys. I've been Hell Hades. Geomancer, absolute beast. One of my favorite epics in the game. I will see you later.